One of the most dangerous things for somebody living with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes is not really their blood sugar levels. The most dangerous thing is not knowing what's causing those high blood sugar levels. When you don't know what's causing your high blood sugar, you're going to make all kinds of bad decisions in your day-to-day -day life that is going to make the problem worse underneath the surface. This is the reason why the large majority of the diabetic population in the United States are following a low-carb diet, thinking that that is fixing their issue. It's not. Lowering your blood sugar with a low-carb diet is kind of like fixing an overflowing sink by never using it again. That is not how you actually fix it, right? To fix an overflowing sink, you look at the drain, you remove the blockage, and then you can use the sink normally again. The same thing happens with diabetes. If you are having a problem when you're eating normal, whole, complex carbohydrates and your blood sugar is spiking up, it's not the fault of those carbohydrates. It's the fault of whatever is blocking your cells from absorbing glucose correctly. Well, in short, this is known as insulin resistance. Your cells are not opening up, so glucose cannot go inside of your cell. But what is actually leading to the development of insulin resistance? Well, it's an accumulation of tiny fat droplets inside of your cells known as intracellular lipids that are disrupting insulin signaling. So what you do in order for your blood sugar to go back to normal again, you have to remove those fat droplets so insulin communication with the cell can be restored and glucose can be absorbed into the cell in a normal fashion. So how do we remove that fat blockage, that fat buildup from your cells? Well, that is when lifestyle change comes into place. Eating too much high processed carbohydrate foods and foods that are high in saturated fat. The combination of those foods usually contained in hyperpalatable foods are the ones that are the culprit behind the accumulation of tiny fat droplets inside of your cells. And the only way to reverse this issue is truly by eating a diet that is higher in nutrient density and lower in calorie density. Most of the time, this falls between the parameters of a plant-based whole food diet, or at least a predominantly plant-based diet, where you are eating most of your foods from high fiber sources, low saturated fat sources. And all you have to do is do it consistently to see the result. And there you have it, my friends. I am an exercise physiologist, and if you want more free diabetes education, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here to subscribe to our channel. See you inside.